Hello everyone, it is me, Mary, and I am here today with a amazing video for you. <laughs> yes, it's going to be great, great, great. Okay, guys, so I am bringing you a video today to help you better plan your Black Friday shopping. You're going to see a lot of videos coming from me uh, over the next two days. Today's Monday, and you'll see a lot tomorrow as well. And essentially what I'm going to try to be able to do is provide you with information so that you may better prepare yourself for Black Friday shopping. Now, some deals are going to be available this week, earlier in the week. Some already are. And in addition to that, we're going to see more deals coming available as we approach Black Friday. Some of the larger retailers will have deals available on Thursday, which is Thanksgiving. So we'll be able to capitalize on th some of those deals early as well to where you can avoid the actual Black Friday shopping. Now, if you enjoy the festivities and like being out on Black Friday, as do I, uh, there are some amazing tips to be able to minimize a lot of the stress that you're going to have. You will have some stress, I'm, I'm assuming, uh, but to overall minimize some stress and increase your efficiency moving forward. So that's what I'm going to do today with providing you with two wonderful tools. And let's go ahead and look at this. So if you're new to Black Friday shopping, you may not know uh, something that may be very interesting to you and come as a surprise, and that is the fact that on Black Friday, the stores typically do not have their items, or hot items rather, in the respective departments. So say that I want to purchase a tablet, and the tablet that I'm wanting to get is actually not in electronics. <laughs> it could be over in uh, boys' clothing. Say that I'm going with a good friend of mine, and I need the tablet, but I also need a video game. And I know that now the tablet's in the boys' section, however, the video games are going to be in produce. So at that, in that particular situation, what I could do is I could say, okay, I'm going to go to the boys' section and you go to produce, and that way we can double team these areas and know where to go. You don't want to go into the store not knowing what you're doing. The last thing you want to do for Black Friday is going in and not having a plan, guys. Now, typically when you're in the store line, people will be out and providing with maps. Uh, however, that's not always a guarantee. And I think that it's essential that you know exactly the area that you're going to hit so you know how to plan your trip. So I have some maps available for you. I have a map for Target, and I also have a map for uh, Walmart. Now, each map is going to reflect your actual store. So I'm going to include the links for you, but we're going to go ahead and discuss this. So this is the actual site that you're going to see, or the um, page you're going to see when you put in this actual um, address that I'll include below. And then you're going to enter in your zip code. Now this is where I used to live, I don't live here anymore, but this would be my store. So you're going to put that in, and you're going to click Find Stores. So I've already done that, and then I'm going to pick which one I want. So we're going to have a few available, so let's just say I'm going to go here. So here we have the actual map. Now the map is going to be you seeing your store. And this really helps, especially if you're going to a store you're unfamiliar with, but even with the store that you're going to. So you're able to see the layout of the store, and that's going to be relatively familiar for you. And you're going to see the different items that are going to be available. So let's just take a look here. Say that I'm wanting to get a set of headphones here. That's going to be small electronics. It's in that category, and we've got section I. So where is section I? Well, section I is in furniture. So now we know this is electronics, which is typically over here, but we're seeing that these electronic items are going to be in furniture. So if we're looking for the TV shop, because that's going to be something that's going to be a hot deal, we see here that our TVs are going to be in section A. So section A here is going to be over by the tableware and, you know, directly across from the shoes. So if we're going to look at steam mops like the shark, steam and uh, vacuum, upright vacuum, 
we see that section E. So that's going to be back in the uh, back there with all the frozen meat and things of that nature. So as we see here, we have very different uh, areas and items throughout the store. Now we see that my store is number 1461, so that is exclusive to this store. And then we also see that we can download this or we can print. So say that I want to download this to my tablet because I know that I'm keeping my Black Friday plans on my tablet. Make sure you have a little power bank with you just in case. Uh, but say that I want to keep that on my tablet, then I could do so. Say that I want to download it and send it to a friend, I could do so as well. Or if I want to go ahead and print it to have it available, I could do that here. So this is going to be an amazing tool for you with Target. Now Walmart, you're probably thinking, okay, well, how am I going to get this at Walmart? Well, we have the Black Friday area here, and that's a good thought, but it's not there. So we're going to come up and click to weekly ads. Now what we see is we're going to have to have your local ad. So what I did was I typed in the same area. So you type in your zip and you would click find. And I did so, and it pulled up this right here. Now once we pick, pulled it up, I could pick which ones I wanted to get, and I picked here in Lovejoy. So we see some different ads and savings booklets, and I'm going to go ahead and look over here at Black Friday. Now here I see my Black Friday offers, which is great, and they're very interactive, so we can look at what we've got going on. But I'm going to click here on my secret weapon to win. And that brings up this screen right here. Now this is kind of hard to see, so I would go ahead and click download PDF. I've already done that, and I have it right here. Now here we see my store number, so just in case you're concerned if you uh, entered it incorrectly, we have that right here. And it says here that this is the information that's advertised and this for, so we do have that. And I want you to see here where it says customers can identify uh, placement using department balloons. Now, if you've never shopped Black Friday at Walmart, you may not have known this. So you'll see balloons throughout the store. And your balloons are going to be different colors because they're color coordinated. In addition to that, your balloons are also going to have numbers on them. Now, I have seen throughout the years where there's some balloons that do not have numbers, but they have always had the colors. So at least be on the lookout for the colors, and hopefully your store will have the numbers. I've shopped at many different places on Black Friday, so I've seen a few different options. So we see here that there's going to be some different coloration for the actual balloons. So that way you can pinpoint the types of items that are available. The last thing you want to do, guys, is get into some type of a frenzy or panic when you get in on Black Friday. Now, if you're shopping at Walmart, depending upon the area that you're shopping at, it's easy to fall into that trap because it can be very stressful. But tools like these can help you uh, maintain some mental clarity throughout the confusion. So let's just look at something here. We have toys and they're yellow. So we see a lot of different balloons here. We have electronics, which would be an orange. Now these colors right here, I'm starting to think that there is a little bit of a mix um, because some of these should be, like number six should probably be orange. But anyway, so let's just go ahead and look at this right here. So sporting goods we have in gray. We see that's in hardware. We have uh, electronics in orange, as mentioned. We have home items, so you're going to have a lot of your um, towels and thus forth over here. And they're actually very nicely centered by the home in my store, which is going to be completely different from your store. Uh, so anyways, we see all of that so far. So that's wonderful, fun, and dandy, but how are we going to find the items? Well, these featured products are going to be highly anticipated items. So what I would say is that on Thursday, starting in the morning, I would go ahead and go to walmart.com and shop for the most or the bulk of your Black Friday deals online. 
you should have free shipping. And if you don't have the shipping, some items are going to be uh, store pickup only. You can go ahead and order the item and arrange the day you want to pick it up. So, I do think that when you're buying big items such as these, number one, you may not be able to get it because there's limited in quantity items. Uh, but in addition to that, try carrying out a 55 inch TV through a crowd that you can hardly not even walk through. It's not gonna be the easiest thing to do. I've done it and I have learned from my mistakes. In addition to that, when you get into these smaller items, I have been in situations where people try to snatch the items from your cart or they try to take it from your hands. <laughs> so in saying that, you know, uh, whatever you can do to minimize uh, having to carry big items or your high uh, profile items, you know, sometimes that is best. I'm going to do a complete video on shopping tips for Black Friday. Uh, to minimize these types of encounters, but I'm just going ahead and telling you try to do some of it Thursday morning But say that you do not want to do it Thursday morning online And say that we're wanting to find something that I always get in store, which is the children's apparel the uh, What do you want to call it the pajama sets? I always get these on uh, at the store <clears throat> We see that's number 23 So what I'm going to do is come here and it's actually conveniently located by apparel so it's number 23. So what you're going to see is you're going to see a display, like a cardboard display, or a few of them. And you're going to see a balloon affixed. And you're going to see that, and you're going to know, well, this is an area I'm going to hit. So I'm going to come in right here in the store. And then I'm going to make a line right here and go directly there. So if that's my deal, that's what I want to do. I'm going to go directly to that area. Now say that I wanted to pick up something else. Say that I wanted to get a bunch of video games. Well, the video games are right here. So now I know, you know what? Let's do this. I'm gonna go here, grab my games, because those go very fast. You're gonna see that they're color coordinated with little dots, so you'll see different pricing, and the pricing will be listed on the cardboard displays. Uh, but you're gonna go right in, I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna go to food, I'm gonna grab these, and then I'm gonna make my plan to go here. Say that I want to also get the drone. So then what am I going to do? The drone is number one. So now I have to consider, well, wait a second. What's going to go quicker? Do I want to immediately go here? Do I want to enter here and then cut up through here and come down here? You know, how do I want to shop? But this right here is an amazing tool to assist you in being able to plan out how you're going to uh, carry out your Black Friday shopping your map rather, and then also look at these high profile items. Now you're also gonna find items throughout the store that are gonna be just in display, so it's always great to look around the entire store because you may find over here that you saw, um, you know, packs of socks, the 12 count packs of men's socks for $5 or, you know, the jumpsuits over here for the men's basketball jumpsuits for $9 or whatever you may see that was not pinpointed here under feature products. So it's always really good to check out the entire store. Well, uh, once again, you can download this just as you could with the target option or you could go ahead and print this. And I hope this video helped you. I hope that it absolutely gives you more insight on how to prepare and plan for your Black Friday shopping at Target and Walmart, and I will include the links below. Thanks, guys. Bye.